In this video, I'm going to tell you how I developed a wrap for my offhand. You can use this to develop a wrap for your offhand, or you can use this process to develop a wrap if you're just not getting it with your strong hand. What I'm about to show you is not necessarily the exact technique you're going to use in a fight. What it is is a way to get you to develop the mechanics to start to be able to throw those wraps in a fight. This video does not cover all of the techniques. I have included links below to other videos that will explain them better than I can here. And please watch those videos. What I have here is an asterisk or a chaos symbol taped on the ground. This is for your foot positions as you go through this throw. What I have here is a target that I am going to aim at. So the goal here is to throw a flat snap while looking at that target and then letting it turn over naturally as it hits the cup. So what I want to do is I want to begin in a position on a line that is pointed directly at the pel. Don't worry too much about where my feet are pointing. I just want to be in this straight line. I place my sword on the back of my shoulder and I have it pointing at the pel. And what I want to do is I'm going to rock toward the target, rock away, throw aiming at that, and let it turn over. I want to do this at least 10 times. Then I move to the next position. I do exactly the same thing. I'm getting my body turned back so that the sword is pointed at the pel. I rock forward, I rock back, I aim at the target, I turn it over. I do that at least 10 times. I move to the next position. This is probably the most difficult position. I can't quite get my sword turned all the way toward the pel, so I turn it as far as I can. Rock forward, rock back, aim at the stick, turn it over. And then the last position, turn as far back as I can, rock forward, rock back, aim at the stick, turn it over. There are several keys to this exercise. Number one, rock forward, rock back, throw. Do that for every shot. Number two, keep your basket hilt close to your jaw. You don't want your arm to swing out. I want this movement rather than this movement. You need to throw these light. Imagine you're taping your smartphone to your Pell and you don't want to break your smartphone. This is critical and this is the one piece that no one ever listens to when I try to teach this in person. I don't want to train my arm to throw the shot. The arm is just here to guide the weapon and to help turn it over. It is the hips and the rotation that is throwing the shot. So nice and light, let it just fall onto the belt. Nice and light. Let it just fall onto the pel. The last piece I want you to focus on is making sure that the sword stays in a plane that is parallel to the floor. The reason for this is that when it breaks over, it does not cause pain in the wrist when you throw it. If your sword moves and turns over, that's your wrist turning the shot over and you will get wrist pain if you do this too often. Shoot for a goal of about 100 shots a day for about 40 days to hit 4,000 shots before you start to really feel comfortable throwing a wrap with your offhand or with a less coordinated strong hand. Thank you.